Welcome Jocelyn fans to the Jocelyn Friday interview show. Uh, my name is Jack Newby. I'm executive director here at the Jocelyn Center. Welcome you to this and uh, we're doing it both on Facebook Live and we will be doing it as a podcast. Um, so first, happy holidays to you all. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving holiday uh, and we're gearing up for uh, the December holidays here at the Jocelyn Center, uh, as well as keeping busy with all of our regular classes and programs. One thing I wanted to remind you is if you're um, not comfortable going out right now because of COVID or if you're homebound and can't get out and access programs, uh, if you have email and internet, you can uh, check out our website at jocelyncenter.org and under programs, register for our virtual programs and you'll receive a monthly calendar of events uh, that you can attend at no cost um, and everything from exercise to lectures to uh, learning uh, programs. So really invite you to, to enjoy that. We've got over 100 people now uh, involved in that, and so we're real proud that we're able to reach our members um, who can't always come here. But we really want to see you here at the Jocelyn Center. Things are hopping. Uh, December 15th, um, we'll be having uh, an event with Santa on the patio, so coffee and hot chocolate and cookies, so uh, something special for the holidays. Uh, and today, um, we're going to be talking with Bob Elias, who is our uh, social services director. Um, and so Bob will be coming on in just a second. There he is. Here I am. <laughs> and as you can see with the background, Bob has a second job. He moonlights as Santa, so he's getting very busy. It's my <laughs> alter ego. <laughs> so Bob, how long have you been here, here at the Jocelyn Center? 13 years. Um, and you're primarily work do Meals on Wheels and our Penny's Pantry program. That Meals on Wheels, Penny's Pantry, yeah, Penny's Pantry, and social references for people who need references for their particular needs. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the Meals on Wheels program, how long it's been going on, how many people are served, and how people can uh, access that program if they need to. Okay, well, the Meals on Wheels program started here at the Jocelyn Center in 1981. And we have been continuously supplying meals to homebound frail seniors. That's Monday through Friday meal and frozen meals for the weekends. Um, we've been very successful in our program. We have about 60 participants in the Meals and Wheels right now. And um, Penny's Pantry, we have about 35, which now Penny's Pantry is a community free food giveaway that we open up our pantry and people come in and pick meals that or food that they want, like canned goods, et cetera, uh, and fresh tomatoes or whatever else we have. We go to find food bank to, to purchase those items. And then we offer them to the people in need in our community. Um, again, Jack mentioned that we're having our annual meeting for the members and whoever for our Christmas party. And you will see Santa, which is behind me, and he will be there at, at the party. Um, we're very, very excited about what's going on here at the Johnson Center. Uh, we've been very successful with our Meals and Wheels program. Penny's Pantry, again, the food giveaway to the needy in the neighborhood. Um, and I think that's about it. Anything else we need to know, Jack? Well, for, for Meals on Wheels, we primarily serve the cities of Palm Desert, Rancho Mirage, and Indian Wells, right? Right. right. That is correct. So, if someone is listening and, and needs that service, how would they get in touch with you? Okay, well, they can either hear call here at our number or they can download the Meals on Wheels application at our Jocelyn website, which is jocelyncenter.org. And you go to the social services section, click that and go down the list and you will find Meals on Wheels application. And our, our number, just in, if people don't have it, is 760-340-3220. And your extension yes. is 110, right? Correct. Okay. Um, we, get our, we have a caterer who supplies our meals, and the caterer is Eisenhower Hospital. So we get meals from Eisenhower Hospital five days a week. So it's a very good caterer, and the food is very good as well. And it's low sodium, so that helps a lot of people. Yeah, we're very we're very proud of of um, our catering 
our catering business with them and, and association with them. Yeah, they've been very, um, very helpful. For Penny's Pantry, that that's the first and third Friday of the month? Penny's Pantry is the first and third Friday from 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. And there's, and there's come to, no registration come to, or... I'm sorry, say that again? There's no need to pre-register. No, no, or, it's open for everyone. You don't need to bring any identification. Uh, you just show up um, and you bring your bags if you need to, or we supply bags and we will give you the food that you choose based upon your visit. And that's really, you know, we're seeing more and more um, food providers give people packaged uh, boxes of food and, and meals and pre-selected. And this really gives people the opportunity to shop and pick up the things that they need for, for their family. Yes, definitely. We don't want anybody to go hungry. And so that's why we offer the pantry for those who need the, who need the help, basically. And we also do Meals on Wheels for those who need the help as well. Um, anything special coming up at Penny's Pantry for the holidays that our well, participants Pantry, can look forward to? On Thanksgiving, we give out turkeys on, at Penny's Pantry. And this Christmas, we're going to be giving out hams at Penny's Pantry. So people can be, be prepared for the holiday. They pick up, up a turkey for Thanksgiving, and now they can pick up a ham for their Christmas or holiday dinner. Uh, and we're very excited offering that to them. Yeah, it's it's unusual, and especially today with the food prices, um, more and more people are needing, uh, you know, the services like Penny's Pantry. So the other thing also, we have, we, we have go, yeah, ahead, exactly. go ahead. Also, uh, during the Christmas time, we put up what we call a gift giving tree, and we send out letters to the Meals on Wheels recipients asking them for items they think they would need. And it lists, you know, robes, size, shoes, pants, anything they need, they can write down on that list and then they give it back to us. And then we put a, a card on the tree with their name and the items that they want. And then people come in, pick up the card, buy the gifts and then bring them back so we can give them to the people who requested them. And that's a- We also have a charity tree too. <laughs> um, we, always, we always need support, financial support. So we have a tree for Meals on Wheels that has any amounts from five, 10, 15, 20, 200, 500, 1,000, 2,500. You just pick up the card, donate the money to us, and we will write you a receipt if you need one. And that helps support our Meals on Wheels program. And that's, that's one thing that, you know, we really want people to know that the substantial part of our contributions, private contributions, go toward actually purchasing food for um, our clients that are on Meals on Wheels. And one of the things I think you need every once in a while are volunteers for that program because it's totally <laughs> volunteer driven. Yeah, the Meals on Wheels, uh, we, I currently have 33 volunteers to deliver the meals to the home and needy. Um, that's six routes. So the average route delivery is about 12 meals. Um, they, you supply your own car and your own gas. It is, it is totally generated by your generosity. And I, I can always use volunteers. So on, you can either come in and get an application or on our website, you can go to the volunteer application and fill that out. But believe me, you're needed and we are very, very appreciative for the help that you give us. Yeah, we're very grateful for the volunteers because again, that makes sure that the funds that people contribute to our program go toward feeding seniors. And our volunteers, some of the stories they tell us, you know, are so heartwarming. Um, and it's the opportunity because the seniors are who are receiving the meals are homebound. It's an opportunity for them to have a daily interaction and check in uh, with someone um, to make sure they're doing okay. Definitely, very. And they're very grateful. We get wonderful thank you notes and letters from people uh, who appreciate our services. And that's very nice to hear and receive. So the other time you're gonna be dressing up as Santa, we have the 15th, which is our uh, um, holiday party here. Um, yes. But you also help deliver the gifts to the Meals on Wheels clients. Uh, I also do people... that. I do that as well. I come as you see me behind me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I show up. Yes, indeed. Well, we're very fortunate here at the Jocelyn Center that uh, 
the best kept secret is Santa really isn't in the North Pole. He's here in Palm <laughs> Desert. <laughs> and which I'm um, sure and, Santa really appreciates the nice weather. <laughs> Um, and, and working every day to, to really help our clients and, and make sure that their, you know, nutrition is so important. It's as important as medicine. Um, and that touch that our volunteers are able to give are, is equally as important. So um, I really want to thank you. I know it takes a lot of time. You coordinate how many volunteers? 33. So... That's a lot and of volunteers. Yeah, 33 individuals, one individual per day, per route, per week. So yeah, it's, jug it's a juggling affair, but I, I'm very proud to say that I've never had a route or a day in which I could not find somebody to deliver their meal. They're very helpful with me on the program. Well, I wanna, I wanna thank you, Bob, for you know, letting people know about our programs um, and all the hard work you do to support them. Um, and remind people again, if you um, want to become a client from, of our Meals on Wheels program, uh, um, give Bob a call at 760-340-3220, extension 110. If you want to volunteer, you can get our volunteer application on our website at jocelyncenter.org or contact Judy, who can help you uh, complete that volunteer form. She's our volunteer coordinator. Um, and uh, let's hear a ho, 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 and happy holidays. <laughs> ho, 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 happy holidays. <laughs> oh, and a, happy, and a happy new year as well. Yes. Hopefully <laughs> we'll get through all this new crazy COVID stuff. So oh, it's a horrible situation, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. And, you know, that's one thing for, for all of our listeners that, you know, Bob and the rest of the staff here at the Jocelyn Center all this time, through COVID have been working through that extra stress and making sure that our seniors are not forgotten um, and they've received uninterrupted service. And even with Meals on Wheels, we were able to help deliver emergency meals to families that needed it. So um, thank you, Bob, for doing that, taking that extra step. You're very welcome. I enjoy helping those who need us. So thank you. That's our that's our show for today. And um, hope you have a great weekend and everyone else has a great weekend. And we will see you next Friday at 11 o'clock for uh, our interview Friday. Thanks. And again, everybody, great please take care. Have a good day and please be safe. Thank you.